Well, the big day is finally here. It's time to throw on your jersey and grab your mitt. One year after COVID-19 caused the Mud Hens to sit out a whole season, the team is back in action tonight. We can't wait. Yeah, we are excited. I mean, we have a jam-packed show for you this morning. We have live coverage leading up to that home op home opener, which is tonight. Now, Stephen Jackson, he already has his mitt. He is ready to go. He's also <laughs> tracking any issues out the door for you. And, of course, there are those closures around the stadium. We know Stephen played baseball in college, so I think he's uh, itching uh, to get on the field. Uh oh, somebody and photo And Zainab has a special visitor, too. She is out there this morning. Buddy just photobombed oh, photo -bombed the day. What? All right. Now, now we know it's a real. <laughs> the season is here when Buddy's ready to go, right? All right, let's get it out to Chris, though, first. Uh, Chris, there's a lot going on in the ballpark. We want to know, though, is it going to rain during the game? Very slim chance, but a few isolated showers. Kind of what a damp feel uh, we have this morning to start out. We had some showers just moments ago across the Toledo Metro. We're back toward cloudy skies and occasionally a little bit of drizzle. It may be coming from some of the thicker cloud cover, but we'll hold steady pretty close to the mid 60s much of the day. And you can see just like that, the shower threat that has uh, been across the Toledo Metro beginning to decrease and to dry up as much of the shower activity lifts over Lake Erie. Zooming in close to the Toledo Metro, though, you will see this, though, wet roads across the entire area, so expect maybe perhaps some slower travel just due to the threat of wet roads that will be uh, out this morning. Humid, damp and heavy feeling today, mid 60s with a chance we get a few scattered showers as we go through the afternoon. We'll pinpoint that full timing in your hour by hour forecast and also toss out that first pitch forecast coming your way in just about 10 minutes. Let's get over to Steve Jackson. He's got to look at your first alert traffic. Steve looking like you're having a great time this morning. How are we doing on the roadways though? A blast out here this morning, Chris. I'm on top of the dugout here, uh, kind of wet, so I can kind of do a nice little, you know, sly little dance. And you know the entertainment that happens at a baseball game. But beautiful out here at Fifth Third Field this morning. We're looking forward to opening day. But to start things off in your first alert traffic, pretty serious issue happening out there on I-75 heading southbound. We're looking at five to nine vehicles involved in a crash that's near Miami Street. So taking a look at that this morning, really slowing traffic down. So make sure you give yourself a few extra minutes. On top of that, we're looking at emergency bridge deck repair that has one lane of traffic closed that will last throughout the rest of the morning. So again, give yourself 15 to 20 extra minutes if that's a part of your morning drive. That's a look at your Contrada Law Firm. First alert traffic. All right, Stephen, be careful up there. It's a little slick on top of the dugout. Well, opening day coverage continues right now. Tonight, the Toledo Mud Hens, of course, will hit the field. I'm definitely glad he didn't fall. Yes. I was preparing myself. <laughs> and if you are planning to watch them play, here's some things you need to know before you go. First off, tickets are limited. Only 20 left for today's game. Our Zainab Shahi joins us live inside uh, the uh, team shop there this morning. And uh, Zainab, there are safety protocols in place. You already got Muddy out there <laughs> photobombing you this morning. <laughs> Tell us about what's going on. <laughs> That's right, Tiffany. We made it to the swamp shop this morning, and here he is. The the muddy. You walked right into my live shot. How could you do that? It's okay. It's okay. But since you're here, can you please show us what your favorite shirt is uh, in the sh the swamp shop? Oh, this shirt, of course. Oh, that's nice. What else do you like? Oh, okay. We can just drop that. That's no problem. What? Let's see that shirt. What? Which one? Mud hands. Okay, so every shirt with you on it. You're so humble. Thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you, Muddy. Thank you. Ooh, shake it, but don't break it, Muddy. And with us is Andy Roman. Andy, this shop is absolutely phenomenal. I always have a good time when I come in here. You know, there's something for everyone in here. It doesn't matter who you are, you'll find something that will represent the 419. And everything is brand new inside the shop. You guys didn't have a, a chance to open up really uh, last year, so now is your chance. I see a great shirt, everything that you need to support the Mud Hens. Exactly, so last year we were all set, ready to go. The store was stocked, like you said, and then the season was canceled. So this year, it's all it's all new stuff so you can see what you missed last year come on in come shop come have fun and i see you have a a big Ooh. claw out <laughs> this is an old favorite you know so the, you'll also have some of your old favorites too so 
Well, thank you so much. And you're going to want to stick with us because we're going to head on out and show you uh, what to expect when you make it to the big game today. So you don't want to miss it. Reporting live in downtown Toledo, Zainab Shaib for WTOL 11.